and Robin from Para That's Not Normal. Let's go make a wand. What I did is I went out and I um, basically went in my backyard and I have a wisteria that I trained into a tree. And so I have this that I thought was really cool. These are the vines that grew together. And then I have a dogwood that is nice and red. And I went ahead and cut off a couple of those pieces. Um, here. Just like so. And then what I'm gonna do is I chose a color of um, suede string or lace. And I also came up with an idea to put charms on it. So I picked up a couple Swarovski charms in which I'm gonna use a jumper ring, I think, to uh, be able to make those interchangeable. So what I'm first gonna do is, um, I'm gonna try to un uncoil this without it breaking, because it's not as, pliable as it was when I first had picked it up out of the yard or cut it off I should say off of the vine the larger vine so I'm gonna try to twist this apart all right so I'm gonna take one of these pieces of dogwood and it's gonna to be too long for uh, a wand, so I'm gonna cut it down, but I'm gonna keep the thicker end. So I'm gonna just maybe trim it, maybe about here. So now it's about this big. And this is gonna be multi-layered, so I'm gonna pick up this piece here. So everything I do is kind of just like intuition. It's just rolling with it. And um, I believe that that actually is what's best for most. So um, really the creative process is all about intuition. I'm gonna take my curliest uh, part of this vine here and try to try to work it around without it snapping. I don't know how brittle this is gonna be now that it sat out for a while. But there, there, it made a little, little bit of a twist, just like so. And I'm gonna get another one. And I'm just gonna try to weave this one together as well. Um, best way maybe see if they can do it in the opposite direction. So what I want to do now is I want to take I think so it's cording and I like this uh, bronze color although the white's pretty nice I think I want to take this bronze color I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna tie these together. Just like so. Okay. 
So now I have this bundle. Get these out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna do the smudge feather in a, in a, a video, it's not live. So I'm gonna take some care, real care with that. Um, I'm gonna actually do, like, kind of go around, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here, but I'm kind of binding these together a bit. So I'm kind of binding them a bit. I'm going to tie another section now. And this is just going to add a little bit of flash to it, too, a little color. Okay. And just kind of bring that around and around. And I can't pull too tight on this, uh, whatever this material is, this lacing. It's, um, not very forgiving. Okay. So now I'm gonna bring this back around and try to tie it off. Just gonna do that for now. Then I'm gonna trim it up. <clears throat> Okay, so now I have this little bound item like this. Now I'm gonna go with um, some of this suede lacing. And uh, which end would I want to be the end? Uh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna start down here. So I'm going to tie this. In a knot. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap the bottom, make, make a handle. This is, like I said, completely impromptu. So. It could be better if, if I just sat there and had thought things through, but totally impromptu. And you'll see where I'm going with this eventually. And just try to, to make yourself like a little, little handle here. Just bind it down here. I think I want my charm a little to hang kind of low. So actually what I want to do is I want to thicken this up. So I'm going to pass back down, make another pass back down. And then I'll put a jump ring on it. I think it. about here's maybe where I'm going to put my charm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a jump ring. So I'm gonna have to now cut this at some point here. I guess I'll cut it here. Okay. And without losing what I have here, I'll try to get a jump ring on there. So just a you know little jump ring so I can put one of my charms on there. Okay, so of the jump ring about here. So all I did was I, I just placed it on there, slid it on, and now I'm gonna finish off the rest of the handle. Here. So there. Okay. So now, um, I have two charms that I want to use. I have a sun. 
and I have um, an all seeing eye. So now I have the ability by putting that jump ring on there to put a charm. So now I'm going to take this charm and I'm just going to clip it to this jump ring. So now I have that. And this is a bunch of lavender that I have for my garden. And I'm just going to pull one of these out. See, and now I can actually tuck some of this lavender inside here. And I'll just split it because I can use all these ends. And I can just tuck that in there. Tuck this one in like so. Actually, I want the flower. If I can get that flower, there we go. See? Like that. And I'll, I actually want the flowers. So I'm going to cut off so I just have the flowers. I'm going to put the flower inside. Like that. See, when I do things, sometimes it starts out looking a little bit like a hot mess, and then it actually shapes up into something. That's just how I work. I am pressure prompted, they call it. Um, I just want to try to keep these in the little cages. It would be kind of neat. There we go. I'm going to face it in, though, so I'm trying to keep it as in line as possible. That's pretty. Let me just do something like this. There we go. Look at that. So now I don't like how that's kind of off doing its own thing. I want to try to shape it more like it is a wand. So we're getting somewhere. Here. There we go. So <laughs> there is my makeshift live wand. Didn't even sketch this out. Just kind of go with it. There you have it. And I'm going to do a video of the smudge feather separate. Um, so, thank you for joining. And this is just a little, you know, Friday night chat. And making a wand. Because <laughs> I had nothing else to do. <laughs> Alright, so take care and I will talk to you later.